So we got a call for a Jeep with a blown engine clear down on the bottom of Hogs Canyon, but I think it's like Tom's Trail or something like that. Paul will know. So we're going to go down there. It's going to be a pretty big job getting it out, but we're going to get it. We've got, uh, actually Paul is meeting us there with his dad's wrecker, and we're going to see if we can get it pulled up, clear up to the top and back where it can be worked on. Um, it's uh, 64 degrees. It's really nice out today. But I don't, it'll be a little chillier in Kanab, I think. Maybe. It's gonna be nice. I got my running sneakers on. Well, you're gonna need them. Wow, you're flexible. So the plan is to meet at Apple Valley Chevron, get everything fueled up, get some food in our belly, and uh, then go out and get this job done. I know it looks like we eat junk food all the time, and we do. <laughs> so. You're having a hot dog for breakfast? Hey, let's go. You and your hot dog. Oh, and your hot dog. What about my hot dog? All right, you can have back. That's all I want. Oh, <laughs> man, that was close. So we're here at the rendezvous point. It's kind of weird that Paul's not early. Hey, Siri, call Paul Cox. Hello. Hey, what's your 20? Uh, we're just coming up out of Mount Carmel up the hill. It'll be about 15 minutes. Okay, I'm going to drive into where I'm unloading and get unloaded. Okay, sounds good. We'll come up and find you. All right, thanks. Bye. helicopter pilot <laughs> here's what we've got going on so last night pretty late like 9 30 I called Paul and I said hey we've got a problem because we've got a Jeep down there in the bottom of the canyon <laughs> <laughs> and of course you want me and then we were talking about how much work it was gonna be and then he said now this is where you come in hey we could steal my dad's truck. Yep. Maybe the wrecker would make it easier. Yeah. So it may make it easier or it may make it way harder. We'll find out. I think it's going to be good because you're going to get a lot of the weight of that Jeep on this rig. Yeah. We'll have traction. If you can keep the front, the front end front on the end ground, down. it'll come out. How well do you want? Me? Really pretty squishy because it rides like a covered wagon. Okay, we'll uh, follow you. Okay. Load up. Buttercup. We don't need to die getting there. We're trying to keep our speed up so we don't have to put it in four wheel drive. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's been on this trail at least once, except for Lizzie and Trevor. Yep. So, this is a learning experience. I'm kind of excited. That's because you're not driving a leaf sprung one ton tow truck. You ready for this, Rudy? I was born ready for this. This is what we do. We're gonna spend the rest of our day in this canyon pulling this Wrangler out. <laughs> the 
Jeep is. Yeah. Where in the world did they take it? Oh, they got it up that hill, didn't they? I'm gonna say 2:30. Really? I'm gonna say 1:30. Oh wow! Back to the truck. Yeah, 1:45. Um. Okay, you got that. Heavy. Yeah, I'm. I'm with Michelle. It's 1:45. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. nope. It's, it's closest first. to. Without going over. Without going over. Okay. 1:50. Okay. 1:50. Three o'clock. Be like, price is uh, right. I'll, I'll just go long. 1:46. 1:46. Right <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull it back, then we're gonna pull it up around here, and then Paul's gonna hook up to it, and we're going back up that road. They've got a broken tail light, too. Make sure you get that on camera. And now turn to the left. Hard to the left. Hard, 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 hard. It's a question. Are we driving it out? We're gonna flip, no, we're going back. Okay. It looks like, so we saw the broken strap earlier. <laughs> now we found the broken winch. Rudy, I'm gonna put you in here because it's just super hard to steer. I don't care one bit. I know that Rudy is way better at this than me, so why not let him do it? And in case they roll, it's no big deal. <laughs> I may have underestimated the time and overestimated our ability. <laughs> if I lose, 
I need chicken and a biscuit and maple syrup to make me feel better. Okay, now he's gonna have to go sideways on you. That'll work, Matt. I'll go crank it hard that way. Yeah, you unhook me. I'm gonna get out of the way. Get that. I was busting my fingers off over here. Just ah. twelve twenty-two. Twenty-two minutes. We've been going at this. Who do you think's gonna take it? I don't know, cause I said three o'clock. So we're on, we're ahead of schedule, I think. And we've only turned it around. <laughs> 2022, they've only turned it around, yep. Here we go. We're gonna make this turn. Yep. That was a good time big. <laughs> 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 I think we're to that point. Well, the e-brake is locked. That's good, that's what I need going up hills. It's working perfect. Now we just gotta get my wheelie strap hooked on and we're good to go. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on in here. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be going nice and easy. How oh, yeah. low is your first gear? It's granny. It's pretty low. I don't. I don't. The camera doesn't even show what angle we're sitting yeah, at. Yeah, it like, doesn't. I don't know. Like, those are my keys hanging straight down. And then we get down to the bottom and turn right back up. <laughs> Once again, we always say it, the camera's not showing what's going on here, but we're on 30 degree climbs. Paul's probably got the traction. He definitely has the gearing and power, but he may not have the ballast he needs to keep the front of this truck true. So we're hoping that this tiny little Jeep has what we need to keep the front of this going. So my job is to keep this rope tight no matter what. So you're gonna have to try to come this way as far as you can to miss that rock, and then about then I'm gonna pick you up again and you won't be able to steer. Yeah. on this side, this back rear tire.
One hand on the wheel, one hand on we the wheel. We about pissed over that first deal. Oh, yeah. I couldn't get your dad to quit pulling. I was like, whoa! <laughs> yeah, but you, that, see, you were saying whoa and go. go. I wasn't saying whoa. Well, I know, but you, when you want me to oh, go, yeah. you say go. When we you want me to stop, signals. you say whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so. So, how was so stop and go. I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Did you see this? We bumped the hood like that. With the boom. Now I guess we see if we can get up the hard part. And there, and there. We'll figure it out. Okay, I guess we'll we got to get it out of here first. Okay, let's do that to you. <laughs> Did you see that face? That's a good one. <laughs> Don't worry, if you go somewhere, I'm going with you. <laughs> If we do this perfectly, it's going to be sketchy. I guess we're hooking all four rigs together to get up this. Do you need another rope? Uh, no. Just, just you. I think we're gonna get it done. I just don't know what's gonna happen between now and when we finally get it done. And just go tell every. Until we stop you. By I can time, go. By the time you hit that sand, you should all be. You, we should all be here. So. Okay. Oh. So we need to creep up and stop when I get my front wheel here. That was insane. Oh my gosh, that was freaking insane. <laughs> was that, Rudy? I'm like, yeah, Paul rolls, no big deal. He's rolled before. Yeah, I'm gonna. And then I'm like, I'm hooked directly up to him. It got a little, little hairy. It, though, it got a second. little sketchy. The is, so I'm like, I'm gonna take the line Paul says, and I'm like, nope, I'm gonna stay straight behind that Jeep in front of me. Oh yeah. <laughs> we come up that line, which sort of worked out, and then it but jerked then, me but, into the sand. But and then you uh, couldn't get over. Yeah, yeah we, we got past the trees, and then the rocks started giving way, yeah. and then the leaves went, gave way. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, well, that went, it went good, we're all alive. Well, at least I don't have to steer.
What time is it? Am I gonna win? Where's our timekeeper? Yeah, we're way quicker. I should have kept my 130 because I think we'll be out of here by 130. Okay, do you want Do you want me to stay on the front of you for a minute? Yeah, okay. it helps me steer. to the truck. Yeah, 145. <laughs> so, man, I'm going to take pretty much the whole credit for this job because I assembled an amazing team. Look at this team. That was me. That it was, was me. all teamwork. It was teamwork. Teamwork. What, what does teamwork do? It's dream work. It makes the dream work. <laughs> all right. I missed something somewhere. So, <laughs> so, yeah, this actually went way quicker than we were expecting it. Like, I was betting against us, so that was good. Rudy didn't die bonus got a little bit of damage i've got a u-joint that's going to need attention immediately you've got a carrier bearing a tire i got a little damage on the jeep we'll be able to get that taken care of it, it doesn't help when you're going down 30 degrees and then go up 30 degrees yeah that, there was a lot of angle there let's go get some food an autograph <laughs> So we just got done eating here at Archie's Food to Die For. It's in Orderville. It's just right off the highway. But yeah, this is a great, great place if you're driving through for the Zion Bryce Canyon area. Come through here if you're close to lunchtime. Definitely recommend stopping here. Grandma Lolly and Aunt Stacy. That's Paul's mom and Paul's aunt from Fab Rats. Tell them Matt sent you, and they'll give you the meal for free. <laughs> no, no, no. Tell them Matt sent you, and they'll probably tell you some inside stories about me that I don't want you to hear. We took Fab Rats along with us on this uh, journey because we needed their help. And if you would like to see their version of how this went down, go on over to their channel. There's a link in the description. Check it out. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching. <laughs>